Hello, it's Mrs Geoscience here and welcome to your video on the equation charge flow equals current times time. So this is one of the equations that you have to know and you have to be able to use. So let's talk about it. So charge flow um, is, well, current is the flow of charge and we understand charge to be um, lots and lots of electrons, don't we? So current is a measure of how many electrons are flowing. And so charge flow is equal to current multiplied by time. Now, what's a bit confusing is the symbols for this equation because they don't really relate to the first letters of these words. So the symbol for charge flow is a capital Q. The symbol for current is a capital I. And the symbol for time, luckily, is a small letter T. OK, so that would be the symbol equation. Remember, if you're asked to write an equation down um, in your exam, I would always recommend writing the words out because if you get the symbols wrong, you get no marks. So you can't make up your own symbols. OK, so what are the units then? So we've got the equation, we've got the symbols, the units then. The units of charge are coulombs, okay? So this is a funny word, C-O-U-L-O-M-B. And the symbol for a coulomb is a capital C, okay? The unit of current is an ampere, but we're happy to use amps. So ampere or amp, and the symbol for that is capital A. And then the unit of time is seconds, and the symbol for that is a small letter S. Another key point to be aware of is that a current has the same value at any point in a single closed loop. So in series circuits, current is the same at any point in the circuit. Okay, so, um, this is your equation. If we're going to put it into a formula triangle, here's what we do. So the multiplying um, values are at the bottom. So we're going to put I and T there, and then charge flow is at the top. That means if we're going to rearrange the equation, we are going to get the current, yeah, equals charge flow divided by time and time equals charge flow divided by current. Okay, let's take a look at an exam question or a practice question then. So I've just got this one here. It says a battery charger passes a current of two amps through a cell over a period of four hours, how much charge is transferred to the cell? Okay, so I'm just gonna move that across here now. So the current, we've got the current is two amps. We've got time is four hours. So that's gonna be four times 60 minutes times 60 seconds. So let's just work that out now. So 4 times 60 times 60 is 14,400 seconds. Okay, so charge flow equals current times time, which equals 2 multiplied by 14,400. So that's going to give us an answer of 28,800 coulombs. Okay, so that is your example of the equation um, and use the equation in its original format. And then we've got the ways you would rearrange it down here. Okay. I hope you um, found that useful. If you have any questions about using that equation, please type them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you get updates um, about new videos being published. Have a good one. Bye.